Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and this time around I'm reviewing a uh, wrestling DVD, uh, Special Superstar Edition, and it is Triple H, The King of Kings, There Is Only One. So, uh, yeah, DVD of Triple H, uh, wrestling superstar, obviously. Uh, if you know wrestling, you know the guy. Triple H has been around for many, many years. Uh, he's kind of stopped wrestling now. Uh, he's too busy being a COO and a pen pusher and a guy in a suit. Um, but they've brought out a new DVD of his. And, uh, I was looking for a DVD to watch the other night and I managed to find this and I thought, why not watch it? I forgot I even had it, to be honest. Uh, but the version I've got, I think I got it second hand actually. Uh, pretty close to when it was first done. Um, but it does come in a, um, well it's just a basic DVD sleeve really. Uh, there it is, normal cover, and then you take the sleeve off and it's got a skull behind it. And he likes his skulls for some reason. He came out of WrestleMania with that headgear on. Uh, but yeah, the DVD, it's only 5 hours 59 minutes approximately in uh, running time. Which isn't very long really. Uh, you've got other DVDs out there that go on for 8 odd hours. I mean, WrestleMania, that's, that's a quite lengthy film. film. Uh, so it's not... I don't think it's all of his work, it's not an absolute definition of his collection, uh, but it is pretty good really. Uh, I've always liked Triple H, especially in the, uh, in the 90s, in the Attitude Era with the DX, uh, and then the two man power trip, and um, especially when he returned. When he, when he was wearing uh, the leather jacket and the denim, I like that sort of era, you know, that was Attitude Era. And Triple H, he was like the man from the Attitude Era, you know, greats like Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H, you know. And, uh, yeah, it was it was good to, I'm always a fan of Triple H, and it was good to watch. But you got some uh, backstory of his, which is good. It's uh, him sat down, talking. Uh, he seems a bit uptight for some reason. He's wearing a jacket, a big jacket all round up to his neck. He looks a bit uptight for some reason. It's, it's a few years old because he's got long hair and it's not... Uh, the latest match is 2006 and uh, obviously we're in 2013 now so it's a few years old uh, but it, it is uh, a pretty good backstory like I say it goes uh, I think it even touches on his WCW days because he had a few matches uh, he was in WCW for a few months not very long uh, but he's got King of the Ring against uh, Mankind uh, No Old Bard with uh, Stone Cold 30 man Royal Rumble, this is one where he came back, uh, that was in 2002. Two out of three falls with Shawn Michaels at Armageddon for the World Heavyweight title. That was a pretty damn cool match really. Uh, he says that in real life he had a falling out with Shawn Michaels and uh, they had a bit of a match to send him off really. Trouble is uh, he came back and he had more matches and more matches and the friendship built up and he ended up staying. Uh, but no, they've got some really good matches, uh, good ones with Stone Cold, uh, Shawn Michaels as well because it's his best friend. Uh, the one with uh, Mankind as well, he has a few matches with Mankind, Cactus Jack, uh, Mick Foley and uh, yeah, they were good friends. He had a few good matches and they went all out in them really. And you got some uh, latest matches as well, some with Batista which is pretty good, gives uh, the backstory of Evolution and Batista and how he rose above everyone in the ranks of uh, evolution which is good you know good backstory and uh, even got a few of John Cena which is good because John Cena is pretty much the face of the company regardless of what's going on with Randy Orton now you know John Cena has been you know the man sort of thing uh, for many many years but for what it was um, up until till about 2006 this is a good DVD, obviously there's a new one coming out, King of Kings or something, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, if uh, King of Kings doesn't cover everything then I'm sure the combined of this one and the new one uh, does cover everything of Triple H and everything that he's done. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good if you're a Triple H fan, definitely worth picking up, or a wrestling fan really. But uh, not a bad DVD, uh, it's a few years old so if you like... Uh, Attitude here in nostalgic matches, then this is definitely uh, one for you. Also, guys, don't forget Toby WTD, uh, all the links down below. So, yeah, really, thanks for watching my uh, Triple H 
the King of Kings uh, DVD. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're a Triple H fan, then definitely worth picking up if you haven't already. But thanks for watching.